This coming week, you have got a chance to check out and even buy this stunning collection uh, of antique estate jewelry. These one-of-a-kind pieces total $3 million. That's why I'm not going to touch anything on this table right now. Bill Cohen with Joe and Cohen and Son Jewelers joins us this morning to show off some of the jewels on display. And you just reminded me Mother's Day is coming up, so pick out your diamonds, ladies. That's correct. <laughs> this is an incredible collection. We're uh, Happy that we were chosen to host it here in Austin. $3 million collection for one day only this coming Tuesday. Wow, there are some really unique pieces here that belong to some pretty incredible people. Walk me through sure, some of these beauties. Sure. We have a beautiful pair of peridot earrings right here. Over 50 carats of peridot, um, originally owned by Elizabeth Taylor. And they're just wow. stunning. I can just see her wearing them. That's a great set of earrings. This is a diamond cross pendant owned by Barbara Bach and Ringo Starr. Oh. And Barbara is an American actress and model, um, most famous for her role as the Bond girl in The Spy Who Loved Me. Mm -hmm. And Ringo is a drummer in a garage band. Uh, yeah, just a little garage yeah. band. <laughs> um, this is a real unique Victorian period um, bracelet. It's unique because most of the Victorian jewelry was yellow gold. Mm -hmm. The white metals weren't discovered until the very end of that per period and also unique because they mix the beautiful green chrysoprase with it, oh, with the wow. rock crystal. And this, I love this pendant here. Um, it's uh, black enamel and two and a half carats of old mine cut diamonds. And um, it's from the Victorian period. And once Queen Victoria's husband passed away, she went into permanent mourning until her death. Mm -hmm. He passed away in 1867, she passed away in 1901. And during that period of mourning, she only wore black. All of her clothing and her jewelry had to have black in it. Mm. So black became very fashionable there and over in the United States. And now when Princess Kate wears a dress, it sells out you know, within minutes, mm -hmm. even, even over here in the United States. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, what else are we, what else are are we leaving out? These are beautiful Art Deco rings. The period Art Deco had a lot of diamonds with sapphire accents. Um, great, great period. This is a beautiful Art Deco necklace as well. Can also be worn as a brooch or a pendant. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really cool ring made in Spain in 1970. So not necessarily that old, but previously owned. This stone flips around to a tiger's eye, so you can wear two different colors. Oh my goodness. Really a great piece. What's interesting is these pieces are so timeless, mm -hmm. and I really feel like antique jewelry never goes out of style. No, no. And you know, like a lot of people say, they just don't make it like mm -hmm. that anymore. Handmade, almost all one-of-a-kind pieces. You, you won't go to the grocery store and see someone else wearing the item yeah. that you have on. I have to know, where do you get these pieces? How do you get your hands on them? <clears throat> this is a collection that's put together um, by a company of investors. They travel the world, um, estates, bank auctions, Christie's, Sotheby's, private investors. They've just working on, been working on putting this collection together for years, mm -hmm. and it keeps growing. Yeah, so how can those people out there drooling right now, looking at, the, looking at these pieces of jewelry, how can they, how can they get one? How can they own one? Um, this coming Tuesday, we're, we'll be open from 9 to 5. Um, we offer free parking downtown. Mm -hmm. Call us, go to our website or our Facebook page. And we have items, although you know these celebrity pieces can be high in, in prices, we also have items starting at $100. Plenty of the collection is $500. That's so, more like it. I yeah. was thinking these are way no, out of my everybody, price range. Everybody can get a piece. <laughs> so it's, it's just one day. One day Tuesday, only. Tuesday, the one, one day only, you've got to get in. And I, I imagine you want to get there early. Yeah. Not, we open at 9 and we're expecting a, a big crowd. Okay, do you guys do this every once in a while or is this a pretty unique thing for you? It's, it's pretty unique mm -hmm. um, because the collection is constantly changing and it travels the entire world basically. So we were thrilled when we were chosen to, to host it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, I, I tried to sneak a piece off. He wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> he has counted everything Come on Tuesday. this table. Thank you so much for being here Thank this you. morning. Just gorgeous and the stories behind them are incredible. Thank you. Thank you. It's still ahead